Hey, it's Catherine Nicholson here from the virtual training team. And have I got some news for you. We found a new way to do breakout groups in Microsoft Teams that's going to save you a whole load of headaches. So check it out. Now, I have to apologize. I'm in my running gear. I'm sweaty, no makeup, but just worked this out and was so excited. I had to share it with you. Um, just for the record, we are now on the app on my PC. The Microsoft Teams app is what we're talking about here. Um, and it's mid-November. Now, Microsoft Teams have said that they were going to be rolling out the break, the new breakout facility at the end of November. Um, that's been now extended to the middle of December. I've seen a preview of it and it's great. But in the meantime, if you're running sessions on Teams, check this out because I think you're going to really find it useful. Okay, so what we've worked out, if I just share my screen, is this. So what you can actually do, let me just move that out of the way, is if you set up, so if I just show you this, stop share, into Teams, what we do is to create our breakout rooms in Teams is we just create these as separate work, uh, workshops or meetings, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then what we've done previously is cut and paste the link and put it into the chat box or send it in a document to our participants. But what we found is if you copy it and then go to your PowerPoint, you could create a slide where you just paste the link. And look at this, check this out. Exciting or what? So actually from within your presentation, participants can click on the link and join a breakout group directly that you've pasted into your PowerPoint slide. Okay, now that's pretty exciting. Um, where I think it gets even better is here. So what you can do is you can create nice funky looking um, buttons. So here we've got breakout group one and you can see that when you hover the mouse over that, you get a link that if participants click on that, they'll be directed to breakout group one. Um, and there we have it, you could join now. Let's not do that. Um, breakout two or breakout three. And I'm just gonna show you how to create this because it's super easy. If I just go into my calendar and take a look at team three or breakout group three, if I go to edit it, I can then just copy the link. And then when I go back to here, I just need to just come out of presentation mode and click on the box. I can do a right click, click on link, paste. And now what you can see, if I just play that, there you have it. The Teams meeting link is there and participants can just click on that directly from the presentation that you're sharing. And if that isn't exciting, then either there's something up with you or there's definitely something up with me. Let us know your